Welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program, folks. We are a, a bit of a bit has happened in between episodes. So we have here on the lava planet. That's where we are. Uh, we have a bunch of magnets being made. They are being turned into magnetic coils over here. Then we have gears being produced here with their own little smelting setup of iron plate as well. Then over here we are making iron plate and quite a bit of it. And that is all being used as fast as it's being made. It's insane. Uh, then we have here uh, the uh, what are these called? Electric motors. And over here we have electromagnetic turbines. So is it enough? I doubt it. Uh, I'm 99% sure it's not enough. You can see as soon as the uh, uh, electric motors come in, they're being used. We don't have a full belt of it, so we actually need more than we're making. And that's a bit of a problem. So they are building up a little bit. But it's a big help. That's for sure. It's a big help. I also had to set up three lanes of solar power total to keep all this fed. So, yeah. And on this planet, the solar panels generate 137% power, so that's quite nice. Also, if we... let's take off. We're heading back to our homeworld. Our beautiful Dyson Swarm is gone, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Let's see, where is home? There. Let's head that way. And it's, of course, on the other side of the gas giant. Which is unfortunate. But it is what it is. And we have logistics vessels going back and forth here, which is wonderful. So let's get back there. Let's slow down a bit so we don't overshoot by a mile. There's home. There is home. Okay. Now, here on our home planet, uh, we do have almost enough power. Uh, well, we do have enough power, but as soon as we start researching, we have nowhere near enough power. Uh, which way is north? I think this way is north. I'm not sure. Yep, this way is north. So over here, I set up some extra uh, super magnetic ring production. And it's insane how many of these electromagnetic turbines and uh, super magnetic rings that you need. It's insane. And the same with processors. I mean, those three products are just... Yeah, you need them constantly. You need them constantly. 
So we have 1,200 of these inbound, the electromagnetic turbines, which is wonderful. And as you can see, I made a little space for Space Warper here. Uh, and I should have done that in every single tower that we have, but I didn't do that, so uh, that'll be a problem for another day. But we should have some... Yep, we have 88 of these uh, orbital collectors. So I think I want to go set up some orbital collectors. I think for that uh, we are going to need some more power for our robot. Uh, let's just grab 40. As far as I know, that's how many you can actually stick on a gas giant. Um, let's grab some of this. Let's just grab uh, something like that. And then we'll head to the gas giant and try these wonderful and strange things out. So, there we go. We need to. Alright, sail mode ends. Okay, we need to find Equator. And we're almost at the equator, actually. Uh, equator is... Right... Here. It's this one. That's equator. Let's find... Actually, let's go the other way. So this is one of the thicker lines, isn't it? No, it's not. Uh, let's just find... And this planet's big. Right, you know what, we'll... Stick one there. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh. You have built an orbital collector. That is cool. Which can collect the resources of this gas giant automatically. The logistics vessel will come to pick up the cargo as long as you set these resources as interstellar demand at other sites. Furthermore, to maintain the collector working, the collected resources will be transferred to energy in the first place. Okay. So, these can't have logistics vessels on them. That's a shame. Oh well. Uh, do I have my light on? Don't I? Yes, I do. Right, let's see, where can we build the next one? There. Alright. So, we'll just go, I think, around the planet. And... Build as many of these as we can. Look cool though, don't they? Right. Look at that. And then the clouds swishing up from below there. That is very, very cool. That is very, very cool. So I think I will set all of these up because this is going to take a while and it's going to be pretty boring. Uh, so I'll set all of these up and then I'll be back. All right. The planet has been encircled in these, and this was the first one that we put down. So let's see what we have. We have 2,500 and 116. It's not a lot of deuterium, but it's forever. It's forever. Now, I don't know if this thing will stop working when the orbital collector is full of hydrogen. I hope not. I hope not. Uh, 
Let's see, how much power did we use? Oh, it wasn't too bad. I thought it would be a lot more. And it was exactly 40 of these that we could put down. So there are 40 of these on this gas giant now. IOTA Buddhist 2. So let's find IOTA Buddhist 3. Where is it? There it is. And let's head home. Boom. All right. Ooh. All of these are empty. Nice. All right. Cool, cool. any of these empty? Yes, three of them are empty. So we're not producing a lot of iron here. Uh, what do I want? I want to delete. Up to there. Let's delete that. Okay. So that means this is a planetary logistics station. Where do we have some more iron here on this planet? I don't know. We could set up that we want to demand that. But we don't have an output for it. I know what. I am not going to demand that. Let's clear and reset that. And let's tear you and you out. And we'll stick. You know what? We need to redo this anyway. So once this is done, then, uh, then we'll figure out something. Now, what I want to do is I want to make deuterium fuel rods. For that, oh, again, we need the super magnetic rings, man. Okay, they're made in an assembler. Let's find a good spot for making deuterium fuel rods. I feel like we're running out of space on this planet. Over here seems reasonable. So let's head over there. Is it there? That seems like a small island. Here. Okay. We need a nice big interstellar logistics station. And we have a tectonic shift there. And the next one is probably all the way down there. So we will build this here. And I don't have a lot of foundations yet left. Oh, oh they're right there. Let's just grab 5,000. I also don't have a lot of soil pile. But I can get some soil pile by just doing this. There, now we have a hundred thousand. Much better. Alright, let's just come out a bit here. And there, that's almost all the soil pile that we had gone. Okay. So, nice 
big flat area. We want deuterium. And we want the titanium alloy and the supermagnetic wings. Uh, titanium alloy, supermagnetic ring. There. And how long does these take to make? Six seconds. So we'll set up twenty four machines for it. Yeah, twenty four machines. That's for a second. That'll be fine. We'll set up here. And I don't think we can fit a power line in between there, so we'll do that. Or a power pole, a Tesla tower. Six, nine. Oops. That. Three, six, nine, twelve. Okay. Oh. I wonder if we have any belts, because we were very low on belts, and we, we have some, but not a lot, and that's, again, because of uh, the turbines and motors and super magnetic rings, but we were out, so some has been made, All right, so we want... Turn here. Oops. Then we want that stuff. Doesn't really matter what's on the other ones or which one goes where. And there, and then we want another deuterian. Like that. And let's select the recipe. So that was stupid not doing it before. Deuterium fuel rods. Let's copy it into all these machines. Okay. That's all those. Then we can just copy there because that's much easier. Three, one, two, three. There and there, and that means you're filling up. We'll request not quite yet. I want to get everything set up first, so we can do uh, deuterium fuel rods here, and then we'll do uh, warper for the last one, so that we don't accidentally. use the last space when we need it. Alright, there. And... Ah, crap. Then we need sorters, and I 
guess I'll quickly sh show you here on one of them why this will work. So we'll have input, input, and input. That's what they need. And then we can do it the reverse for the other because we have the deuterium over here on each of these belts. So that's why this works. And it's a pretty neat way of doing it, if I do say so myself. That. And I think I'll just set all of this up and then I'll be back. Right, all the inserters are in or sorters, they're called sorters in this game, call them sorters, please. All right, let's power it up so that we get some charge here. And then we'll say uh, local demand, remote storage, local demand, remote storage, local supply, remote supply, and remote demand, local storage. Okay. Now let's see if any of these will go out. We're not getting any of those. It's just insane. Let's take a look at where we're producing them. We're we missing. What are we missing now? Magnets. Uh, demand. Local demand and remote demand. That will help on the magnets. And. Okay. And here, do we have any completely out of electric motors? Completely. And I'm not actually requesting them anywhere, so... Or supplying them remotely anywhere. So we could do that here. Uh, these guys, uh, local store, no, local supply, remote demand. I'm not sure we'll get any, but we'll see. All right, so we have that. Why are we not getting any deuterium? Is it because... Let's quickly head over to the gas giant. We can find it. Should be able to file it. find it. It's a big ball. There it is. Okay. I don't think... Oh, it's still going. It's still going, even though the, the hydrogen is full. This is still going, okay. So the problem... Where's... where's home? There. I thought it was the other way. So the problem is simply that there's not enough yet. There's not enough yet. 
Ooh, this has 500 inbound of these. That's not bad. Those just went out. Uh, where did we set up? It was right here next to the... Is it here? Wasn't it right here? I thought it was right here. Where the heck did we set that up? Deuterian fuel rod production. Well, there it is. Okay. Oh, and I should have limited this to, let's say, 1500. 1500. 10,000 is fine. Let's say 200 and 10,000. That's fine. But what we need to do is maybe set this to 50%. Yep. There it comes. But this is still not getting any. Uh, maybe we need to stick some of these in. That might help. Okay. We need super magnetic rings. Come on. Here comes the deuterium. Oh, and we are actually making some deuterium fuel rods. Nice. Nice. But we need more supermagnetic rings. Damn it. And we're making them here, and I'm guessing that we don't have any. No, we do. We actually have some supermagnetic rings. So that's kind of nice. And they're actually going up. Kind of. And are we... Getting some down here? Doesn't look like it, does it? Transport range of drones, 180 degrees. Okay, so that's the whole planet, that's fine. Okay. So how many of these do we have now? 50. There's nothing inbound here. There's nothing. That bloody sucks. Why are you not picking up some? Wow. We're actually out of these now again, electromagnetic turbines. I need to quadruple or make it 10 times bigger. The production of those. I 
it's insane. So those 400 that we just got are gone. They're gone. Well, 400 more on the way. Oh, there's 50 in transit, and we have 100 of these now. Okay, okay. So, we're probably going to need to expand on this as well, right? So, let's see here. One, two, three, four. We could, as a matter of fact, instead of having this output like that, we could have it. that and save a, a slot there. Okay. So now we need to make some mini fusion power stations, which again take the super magnetic wings. It's insane. Uh, we have some. Can we make any of these? No, we're missing carbon nanotubes. Oh, we need... Let's see. Let's come up here. I need some super magnetic rings. You have 500. So let's grab something like that. And then we needed carbon nanotubes and processors. Processors, we have, wow. We have none. We have no processors. Okay. Uh, I have some, I have 90 on me and they take four, so that should be okay-ish. Uh, where are we requesting or making carbon, nano, carbon nanotubes? Um, let's find our carbon nanotube production. Uh, it's plastic. Where is our carbon nanotube production? I wonder. We also need to make our... Electric circuit circuit board. It's called circuit board. We need to make that production a lot better, bigger. Where the heck are we producing carbon nanotubes? There. And we have a few. Let's grab 300 or something. Okay, can we now make some of these? We can make five. Woo! Then we need titanium alloy. Okay, titanium alloy is being made up here somewhere. I'm pretty sure. Or is this the wrong way? This is the wrong way. 
think. My titanium alloy is there. Where the heck is the titanium alloy? Not there. Isn't it somewhere around here? Okay, all those are out of power. Must be around here somewhere because there we have the carbon things. And there we have the titanium uh, uh, crystals. I really thought it was around here. What the heck? Here it is. I found it. All right, let's grab a couple of hundred of those. How many can we make now? 17, that's better. Just make an even 20. Now what these, do these take? Oof, again, the super magnetic rings. Jesus Christ. And they also take these. They're not too bad, but we need to scale up our productions. Quite significantly. All right, so let's find a spot for some deuterium fuel rod power here maybe so that we can keep researching was it here that i was looking at i think it was Uh, this is finished, so we can dismantle this, and then we could have them here. And we could actually request them right here. And not that many, just let's say 500. And power mini fusion power station. Let's see. Let's start down here. One, two, three, four. Let's do five. And then we can stick them in there. This should do wonders for our power situation, I hope. I think it will. Okay. Let's pull some of these out. I think we'll come down and up like this. Okay, nine megawatts. 
look at that 400 and something so we're producing well we have 20 of them it's 9 megawatts so it's 180 megawatts extra power that we're producing fan freaking tastic that is awesome that should mean that we can do a bit of researching uh, let's see upgrades mecha core no mechanical frame let's do that inventory capacity absolutely communication control absolutely can't do that can't do that Logistics carrier capacity we can do. Range utilization, no. Let's do that. Can't do that. Don't really care about the solar sail life, but I do care about the ray transmission efficiency. Let's see, can we. Ooh, we can actually queue up. Here for an extra speed boost and an extra one. Wow, that's nice. All right, so let's have a look at our power situation. All our Let's just fly down here. That's three, Jesus. All right, so all of those are starting up again. Reds are kind of starting up again. Plus one. Mech move speed, I love it. Uh, the purples won't be starting up again because they are not being used for this research. All the yellows are going. Only four reds. It's because of hydrogen. Well, we can solve that problem, can't we? And that would actually mean that we can tear all this down which sounds wonderful to me. So you know what? Let's do it. Plus two lines inventory capacity. Woo! I like it. I like it a lot. Alright. Uh, you need to request uh, hydrogen. Remote demand. And you need some of these guys. You need some power. And for now. Just stick it on here like this. So there. 4,000 hydrogen on its way. And you know what? Let's just... Uh, cut this off.
all this will shut down. Here comes the first hydrogen. are upgraded. So that should get a lot more reds being produced. How is the graphite or the coal looking over here? So that's 700,000 so that's fine. Plus two construction drones, nice. Oh, you know what? That's fine. So all the reds are going, all the blues are going. Yeah. All the yellows are going. Yeah. The purples are not going. What are you missing? Oh, processors, of course, of course, of course. We need processors. All of this could, in reality, go as well. Charging up some batteries. We need to put more exchangers in here. Maybe put another row of five here. So we have almost 2,000 empties. So yeah. take these as well. Uh, crap, man. Take 19 of them. No, they don't. Take 6 of them. But that's still a lot. It's not 19, thank God, but it's still a lot. Well, I think in the next one we'll go to the lava planet and try and just scale everything up that we're doing over there because we need it. We desperately need it. I want to see our deuterium fuel rod production before we finish it here. Uh, where is that? Not this one, is it? Nope. Uh, is it this one? No. There it is. That went so fast, I couldn't see which way I was supposed to fly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was over on this side of the planet, and then we just need to follow it down. I think it's here. Yeah. So we have some, but again, it's, it's those super magnetic rings, they are the problem, and they're a big problem. 
Now, what do these take? They take diamonds, not a problem. And then we need strange matter, which is deuterium. And particle containers and iron. We have all that. So that means that we could make some space warpers. That means we could start making space warpers. Which is pretty darn sweet. Because we had... Uh, if we go out here... If you remember, we had some decent stars some decent stuff here so fire ice we already have plus 10 logistics drones nice nice so fire ice fractal silicon optical grading crystal which i don't know what is for uh, and then we have mosita where we have kimberlite ore and sulfuric acid and i think that's what i want i think i want to go there This one is too far away to see what it has. We don't know what that has. Fire eyes again. Nothing. No titanium. No special materials. That's a sucky one. So I think uh, Musida will be the first system that we visit three light years away. Yeah, I think it will be two light years away, fire ice. And five light years away, we can see what that has. Fire ice and sulfuric acid and water. Uh... That's home. Uh, yeah, I think uh, Musida will have to be the first one that we visit. Because the Kimberlite ore and the sulfuric acid ocean are incredibly useful. But yeah, we'll have to figure that out. I think in the next one, we will head over to the lava planet nice move faster and we'll see if we can't uh, make our production a lot bigger a lot bigger and our power is still good happy about that so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.